Night is beginning to fall on Berenti, and this is where we'll see a whole new array of wild encounters. Okay, so I'm just preparing for our night walk tonight. It's our first one here in Berenti. It'll be completely different to that of St. Luke's. We'll meet various new species of lemurs, snakes, and maybe even carnivores. So I'm really looking forward to it. So, let's see what we can find. We were heading to the Spiny Forest, an ecosystem we've explored during the day, but have yet to explore at night. Whilst it certainly was a very unusual place to be at night, finding animals was not actually that difficult. A large warty chameleon slumbers in the tree, whilst a much smaller baby big-headed gecko hunts for small invertebrates on the ground. In order to not draw too much attention to himself, he makes short, sharp movements. But there were some invertebrates he was just too small to eat. The ground floor was littered with giant Madagascan hissing cockroaches, and they do actually hiss. They do this by forcefully expelling air out of small holes in their abdomen and it's used as a defence mechanism. There's something really unnerving about walking in this forest at night. I don't quite know what it is, but there's too much mystery. It's incredibly misty and quite eerie. And there's lots of bizarre sounds of loads of different animals. It's absolutely incredible. And as we carried on into the forest, we came across something that was glaring right back at us. <laughs> A white-footed sportive lemur. Sportive lemurs are strict herbivores and feed primarily on leaves. Although this sportive lemur was not too phased by our presence. In fact, in the way he was tilting his head, he actually seemed more curious of me and my guide. But eventually he then got hungry and headed up higher into the trees. He then began eating euphorbia, which is a highly toxic plant to humans, but it doesn't seem to have any effect on the sportive lemur whatsoever. The white-footed sportive lemur is a highly solitary species, with the males aggressively defending their territories, but these territories are currently getting smaller as further habitat loss progresses. Berenti is one of the very last strongholds of the white-footed sportive lemur, and it is now threatened. The white-footed sportive lemur is Berenti's largest nocturnal lemur, and the smallest is just beginning to wake up. A reddish-grey mouse lemur. Although still slightly drowsy, the mouse lemur will soon be off looking for vegetation and insects to feed on. Sweet fluids such as sap and honeydew are also on the menu for the mouse lemur, as he eagerly licks it off the branch. His large ears move like small satellite dishes, allowing for exceptional hearing. And gigantic eyes allow it to see very well at night. The mouse lemur is certainly in need of these powerful senses, as it is constantly being hunted. It may end up in the jaws of this sly Indian civet, or perhaps caught in the immensely strong coils of this Dummerill's ground boa. But these two predators are primarily terrestrial, whilst the mouse lemur is mostly arboreal. Catching a mouse lemur with its unrivalled awareness and agility is certainly a difficult task, but the mouse lemur knows that his real terrors come from above. A Malagasy Scops Owl The Scops Owl is not fussy, he will take on anything he's able to, from invertebrates, lizards, snakes, and of course, mouse lemurs. The owl has highly acute hearing, and powerful eyes that allow it to see in the pitch black. And its feet are equipped with talons sharper than daggers. The Scops owl is perfectly adapted for even catching the most agile of prey. Although the owl didn't seem to be in any rush to hunt, so the mouse lemur can find food in peace, at least for now. Right, well, 
it's beginning to get very cold now, so we're beginning to head back to the transport, and I must say that was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. My particular favourite was seeing the mouse lemur. I thought that was just utterly amazing. It was probably the most cutest animal I've ever seen. And I think that's really made the most of our last time here at Parenti. So we'll be off to Fort Dauphin tomorrow for our last episode.